get in at 10 to 8, get a coffee. You know, we'll all go to the couches and the teacher will give you your brief. We'll sit down, teachers will tell you everything the client wants, all the specifics. You then have to ask the questions that you would ask your client. We did probably about 20 to 30 briefs throughout the three months. We had poster briefs, we had typesetting briefs. Each brief kind of is structured in the way so that you use new techniques that you learn, for example. So we learn about the design principles um, and using in design. So then the next brief will be about emphasizing alignment and contrast. I always find that I just write down the first things that come into my head. You start to draw really basic shapes and, and it does start to take its, a life of its own. Thumbnails really help to just kind of cement in your mind exactly what you're doing so when you are designing it's all there you've done the you've done the hard work that's the part i enjoy the most out of the whole process um, i love coming up with the concept and they emphasize that a lot like to make sure you get your ideas out so that you just have to execute on the computer you're not sitting there just moving things around i had never used any of the programs before i literally had never touched one of the adobe creatives programs before coming to the course i had no experience with InDesign. I've only ever worked in Microsoft Outlook and Excel. So on the first day, even just turning on the computer, I was like, this is new, this is all very new. It can seem pretty scary, like I do remember opening up InDesign before I came here and thinking, okay, no, I don't know how I'm gonna learn this. And my teachers kept, kept saying to me, you just gotta remember it's about the ideas and you will get better, you will get faster. The technical side just starts to fall into place and it really has. When I started to get a hang of Illustrator, that probably clicked a little bit in my mind, like, okay, I can do this without having to have fantastic, you know, traditional artistic talent. If I was describing it, I'd say um, it's like being in the workplace. It's a job. You, you've got to be here at eight. You, you, you're here until you've got your work done. You don't feel like you're at university. You actually feel like you're in a working space. But in that sense, it means you get so much more done. It's like your life for that, for that three months. You kind of don't realise how much work you're doing until the end, and then you look back and you go, oh my god, I've done so much work. Three weeks before portfolio is due, the teachers sit down with you and they discuss your work. Together you decide which ones you would like to put in your portfolio and which was your strongest point. You have to be really critically honest about what you've done. What's not good is not going in, and what is good is going in. Then you go back and you fix your favourites. And then you have to think about your rollouts, you have to think about how it's going to work, your layout. You've got a whole book to produce um, in a week. I remember in the lead up to Portfolio Week and just thinking back on, you know, the work of other gradu graduates that I'd seen and thinking, how am I going to get this amount of work done? Now that it's done, I'm really proud of what I've accomplished and what my classmates have accomplished.